We can see the slide, but can you expand it? Yep, perfect. Thank you so much. No, okay. it, it didn't expand. If you could click that button up one more time. If you could do the full screen one more time, sir. Great. Thank you. Please proceed. Hello. Do we lose connection? Dr. Youssef, can you hear us? Dr. Youssef? Did we lose connection, Kaylee? The call. He just unmuted himself. Hi, everybody. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Hello. Great. Yes, we can hear you. Please proceed. Hello. We can hear. Are you hearing? Yes. Kitty, can you respond to? Are you hearing? Yes, please proceed. Hello. <laughs> Okay, and I'm Abdul Krim Abdul Yusuf. I am a master's student in Federal University of Prana, Brazil, and a member of Apra University, Somalia. I thank Federal University of Prana for the opportunity to study and the Brazilian National Council for Scientific and Technological Development, CMPQ, for the fellowship. I also thank 2020 Global One Health Conference for the opportunity to present. And our topic today, zero prevalence of antitoxoplasma gondii and antibrocella species antibody in pregnant women from Mukudisho, Somalia. Toxoplasmosis and prosolosis are well-known zoonotic abortifacient disease worldwide. Toxoplasma, toxoplasma gondii cause severe illness in immunocompromised people, including pregnant women. <clears throat> and limited data were available in Somalia people and their animalists. Therefore, this present study was designed to investigate the seroprevalence of antitoxoplasma gondii and antibrocella species antibody in pregnant women from Mogadishu, Somalia. Blood samples were collected by nurses from maternity hospitals and then serum separated and tested serologically, including lead agglutination test, rose bengal, plate test, and competitive ELISA. Data were analyzed by SPSS version 25 
either chi-square or vigorous exact test was used to assess association of the individual variables with the seropositivity of antitoxoplasma gondii and antibrocellular species antibody. Odd ratio 95% confident interval and the B value were calculated and the result were considered significantly when B value is less than 0, 0, 0.05. Antitoxoplasma gontii antibody were detected. Almost 52% were zero reactive for toxoplasma gontii by acculturation test. While overall anti procella species antibodies was 1.30 percent. Only one pregnant woman were zero reactive for procella species by post post Bengal plate test and competitive ELISA. Two women were zero positive for both agencies. <clears throat> the present study is evidence of the existence of high seropositivity of antitoxoplasma gondii and the low seropositivity of antibrocella species antibodies among pregnant women in Mogadishu, Somalia. Since the awareness on this genotic puzzle gene in Somalia is very low, the people in this country are at great public health risk. Additionally, they are little or no medical effort, uh, medical and veterinary effort detection and to maximize toxoplasma and brucellosis detection rate in both human and animal in the country. This preventing recognition of any association between zoonosis disease and immunocompromised patient, including pregnant women. Therefore, there is a need to promote the One Health concept among multisectoral professionals for better and uh, sustainable integrated health development and implementing effective control strategy against these zoonotic diseases. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Um, Dukoram. That was very interesting. Um, if there's any questions, please um, place. My question for you is, now that you've seen such a high rate um, of toxo in the pregnant woman, what is your next step besides for education? Please, is there any plans? Please again. Oh, the high rate of toxo. Please again. Hmm. You may not be able to hear me. The high rate of toxo um, in the pregnant woman, what is your next step for? The high prevalence. Yes. Yes. Plans for education of pregnant women. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Oh, you're on mute. Can you unmute? Hmm. We're drawing close to the time. Um, we'll I come. Dr. Wang. Yes. We are doing a. Uh, we are preparing a educational program uh, for those women uh, to attend that attend the uh, maternity in Somalia. Perfect. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. So in the U.S., there's a lot of education for pregnant women for a cat litter and other things not to click. But yeah, definitely very impactful research. Again, this morning, I want to thank all the presenters um, for the abstract. I do want to remind you that all of the abstract that were submitted, even the ones that were not presented, will be on YouTube. Dr. Sanyat has placed the site. The winner of the student um, oral abstract presentation will be announced at the end of the session. So um, again, with that, I would like to um, thank everybody and please stay on for um, the opening plenary session, I mean, the next plenary session with Dr. McDermott. Thank you, everyone. Welcome to anyone who has joined us recently.